What's going on, fellow YouTubers? Call me Francois! Here, and you're watching the gameplay by none other than me. Call me Francois! So what I want to talk about in this gameplay is, well, gaming. Uh, gaming in general. Mostly kind of this gameplay because um, my team... I guess I want to talk about team play and how... Well, I wonder how everyone plays out there and people who watch my videos, like what type of playing they do. Me, personally, I always play... I mostly play by myself. I haven't played, like... With anybody, that sounds so. Uh, yeah, I haven't played anybody in a while. That sounds fucking wrong. Um, <laughs> so, uh, disregard that comment. I haven't played Call of Duty with like a team or anything since probably like the first maybe month or so of the game. Like when the game came out, all my friends um, they obviously bought it. We we played six six to a party. We played team deathmatch stuff like that. And I mean they weren't the best players. Like we wouldn't communicate. But it seemed like when I played with them, like. We we won a lot. Is um, like teams teams are easy that we faced. They weren't as good, or I don't know. It was it was a lot easier. But like, of course, with uh, this game is a bunch of bullshit. So everybody got sick of this game. They stopped playing it. But I don't know. I guess I'm a sucker for it. I can't stop playing. So I continued to play, and of course, I had to play with myself. Once again, that is not what I mean. Um, I play Call of Duty. I had to play by myself, Call of Duty. So that's primarily why I play Kill Confirm because I feel like it's a game mode that if you play by yourself, you can still do well, you can still win. Like domination, almost, uh, it's not impossible. Um, but Kill Confirm is much easier in that aspect, as in you can go in, uh, beast out, and usually pick up a win. And, um,. Yeah, it's obviously easy if you have a team with you. So I guess I just want to know, like, what people play out there. Like, every time I'm playing a game, it seems like I'm faced up against a team of six or something. And they, like, know where... I'm, I don't know. I guess they just know where I am the whole fucking time. And they're calling they're calling out people and stuff like that. And um, it's just easy to beat a party. And it seems like I'm always facing them. And so, like, when I join a game, I am by myself. And it's basically 1v6 because I don't know how the matchmaking in this game works, but... I'm pretty sure it's fucking terrible. Like, there's rumors like in the old cards, the lower level, lower rank you were, if you didn't prestige, you would face, like, people around your prestige level and stuff like that. But it, I don't know exactly, because I don't know the encoding of this game. But it, it seems like every time I face somebody, it's they're against a team, it's, um, my teammates will get, like, fucking, like, five kills, and that's about it. The, take for uh, instance, this game. There's two people on my team, and they're in a. They have the same clan tag, so obviously they're playing together. And um, the game before this, I faced them. They were on the opposite team, and they went about 30 and five each. So total, given they probably didn't grab any flags, or I mean, uh, confirm any kills. Hold on, wait, watch this. Too. Yeah, triple. Um. So, anyways, they got like 60 and 10 total between the two of them. This game, they barely broke even, if that. I don't even know. But it, it seems like that's how it works. Is whenever somebody faces me, they're fucking fantastic. And whenever I, they are on my team, they suck completely, and there's nothing I can do about it because, like, what the hell can I do about it? I just keep doing what I do and keep fucking killing people. So, I guess I just want to know, like, if you play alone or something like that, if you're a lone wolf, and you can still beast, like, uh, I don't do this every game. This was. I'll do, I'll maybe get like two or three games like this in a session. Well, not games like this, because this game I did not like the ending to. And, um, well, you'll see that eventually. I'm not going to spoil it for you. You know, I was pretty fucking pissed at it. I think that's why I'm doing this commentary to, um, I guess the vent. Oh, I'm fast forwarding some boring ass stuff. But I'm doing this kind of comment. I was almost on a Moab streak too, but. <sighs> of course, my TV didn't kill that guy. I'm sorry, I was running away and had my back to you. Um. What the fuck was I just saying? Yeah, shitty teammates. We'll just, we'll just go with that. Um, shitty fucking teammates. Oh, I think I fast forward through here again. Cause I, look at these spawns. If you, I'm fast forwarding because it's embarrassing. But I was getting spawned on like so fucking. Well, no, I would spawn instantly get shot. But I guess that's just MW3 spawns for you. Um, but no, this game. Oh, we're just gonna die from everything, I guess. That fucking guy with the rockets. I always keep putting lobbies where it's just. Every bullshit can kill me. No, it was my teammate in the corner. Of course my teammate's not gonna fucking move. Um, see this guy, thank you. I fucking luckily got a kill on him, because you can't reload. Uh, he's using a small... Uh, dumb as fucking thing ever. He gets a double kill later. Which, um, or maybe it already happened, I don't know. But it pissed me off so much, because... It's, it, it takes no skill. And I'm still dying from it. Like, I... 
if somebody gets me in a gunfight and I, I can give them props for it, saying good job, um, or like my aim was off to start, um, then that's understandable. But you just run around with a small and firing it down any, well, especially on a small map like this, you, you can fire it in the middle and probably get double kills. And it's, it's, it's not, well, it's, it's not fair. Wow. You just got so, I got so fucking lucky there. Oh my god. Oh. And that sounded like I literally just jizzed my pants. Oh, don't even get me started with the fucking stealth bombers. So luckily, I don't die from this one, but I, I'm pretty sure I've died from every single one that everybody has ever put down. I'll die anyways because I get slowed down by it, but, um, stealth bomber's stupid. I've, I'll do, I might do another commentary on, um, kill streaks that people shouldn't earn because they're, they're not fucking kill streaks. They're, you don't, you shouldn't get a kill because you took, what do you think? He took 50 fucking something kills to get, uh, nine kills finally when calling a stealth bomber. And get a triple, he got a triple. See, there's the double I was talking about, too. I'm pointing at the fucking screen like you can see. Um, hey, whatever works, I guess. Um, so I guess I just want to know, like, if you guys play alone, if you guys play, uh, like, with a team and stuff, and how, how you think that, like, it benefits people. Uh, obviously, you can talk and stuff, but if it benefits you as a player and, like, your, your KDR and your winning and stuff like that. But here's the moment coming up that, um, I, I don't know. I guess it's a fail on my part, but... It really shouldn't be because I, well, I don't know. You've been watching the gameplay. I've been doing everything. So we get this guy for the last tag, and then boom. Yeah, we lost by one because I couldn't kill two people at the same time. And, um, well, I guess I had to do everything. My, ah, oh, see, it's so fucking stupid playing. Like, when you get teams like this and it pisses you off because, um, well, you'll see right here. Hold on. I got 46 fucking kills and we lost. I don't know. I decided to make this video, kind of like a rage video, I guess, to show you what I have to go through every day.